Okay, everybody, I'm here with Terry. Terry Vess, uh, how do you pronounce your last name? Uh, Switek. Switek. I should have asked that before. But <laughs> very big news. Uh, she just had her first sale in the land investing business. So what I wanted to do is get a little bit of her feedback and her experience through this whole thing. And just to show how easy it can be for anyone and that anybody can do it. Granted, she is a mom. So she has that built-in advantage of just understanding how to work with people and especially children. But if no matter where you are in your life, if you want to start to invest in land or in real estate in general, you definitely can start. There's nothing stopping you. So welcome. I really appreciate your time, Terry. So why don't you kind of give me the rundown of the whole sale? Uh, basically, after you already bought the property and all that, like, what was it like selling property? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, you know, it was fun um, and surprising a little bit, I guess I would say, uh, that it was so easy. Um, you know, from, I started uh, around Thanksgiving time, um, starting to learn the business and purchased uh, my first two properties. And, um, you know, within 30 days of listing those properties, uh, you know, I've made my first sale. So it's pretty exciting. Um, I guess I was just surprised that it was so easy. <laughs> So that, that was fun, the fun part. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. A lot of people are surprised how easy it is to sell land, especially when you are, you know, putting it, uh, you're selling it at a competitive price and that you don't have to spend a ton on like paid ads or traffic to sell the property like you would mm -hmm. in other areas. Mm -hmm. Like where do you uh, put up the property? Like, you know, what sites or how did you get traffic? Yeah, um, so coming into this, um, I, I wanted a business where I wasn't gonna have to do too much advertising um, because I, I am still working and you know I have family and I'm busy. So um, I listed it on Craigslist and Zillow and those were really the only two places where I listed it for free. And um, I did send out some postcards um, to, buy, to a buyer's list, so I did do that. Um, but that was pretty much it. That's the only advertising I did. And it was less, like less than 50 bucks, I think. That's not bad. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. So off camera, you're telling me that you didn't spend a lot to purchase this property. Um, there was a couple of issues with it that you were able to like resolve. And then at the end of it, you made a pretty nice payday. Could you kind of walk me through some of those numbers real quick? Yeah, definitely. Um, so when, it, when I got into this property, um, I probably purchased it uh, knowing there was going to be some other expenses, but outright purchasing the property, I paid $150 um, to this person. And the reason I got it so low was because there were a lot of taxes owed on it. And there was also a lien on the property for nuisance and abatement. So things like they didn't mow the property lawn or something. So they had some um, fines to the county for that. So, you know, part of that, when I first got it, I, you know, I was a little nervous about that because I was yeah. like, are we, you know, how do I, how do I get this taken care of or are people gonna want it and, and things like that. Um, but I kind of got over it. <laughs> so, and moved forward, so that was good. And, um, you know, uh, basically it was just, you know, knowing that I could call the county at any time and get the information and find out how easy it was to take care of it. So I just called um, just a simple one minute phone call, talked to some people and they're like, oh yeah, you just pay it online and then it gets removed and it's no big deal. So I was like, okay, so we'll go for it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Very nice. And then, so you have that and did you end up paying that, those taxes and fees right away or, or how did you take care of that? Um, yeah, so that was the one of the things I was unsure of. Um, you know, when I was trying to sell it, uh, I wasn't sure if people would want it if they saw that there was tax owed on it, but I decided to wait. Um, I didn't want to spend the money up front, especially around the holidays. So I just decided to wait and um, it worked out really well. There were, um, there were several people who called and wanted the property and it, it wasn't a problem that there was taxes owed. You just tell them you're going to take care of them. Um, some people didn't even ask. They didn't even, you know, you're like, oh, do you have any questions? And they're just like, nope, I just want to buy it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so 
So yeah, so once I made the sale and, and the check cleared, I just used the money from part of the money from the sale uh, to take care of those issues. So what you're telling me is you spent 150 and then you may have hold, owed, how much, do you know how much was owed in taxes? Or do you remember um, at this time? Yeah, it was, it was around 1300 in taxes around there ish. And then um, the lien was around 600 ish. Okay, so um, about 900, 1900. Yeah. Um, but then you said you took the money from the, when you actually sold it mm -hmm. and then just use that to pay off the taxes and the lien, right? Correct, yeah. So it Got wasn't it. upfront or out of my pocket initially. Um, I just used that additional profit. Nice, and then mm -hmm. so at the end of the day, how much were you left with? Um, a little over 2,000 in profit. So you're telling me, <laughs> yeah. you, you around Thanksgiving, the time you needed a ton of money and you were busy with other things, not just your yeah. own job and all that, but you have family, you got holidays, you have the craziness of the country, you spend $150 and then not long later, all of a sudden you're, you're basically paying yourself back 2000 ish dollars. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and so I did have some startup costs, you know, but so some of that goes for, for paying that, but um, you know, yeah, it's not, it's pretty good profit. <laughs> you well, know, you, well, th well. you think about it and you think about, you know, hey, if I do a couple of those a month, that's making a very good income, you know, replacing my income or my husband's and um, yeah. And just doing it, and you're, you know, if you were taking it very seriously, like like you are, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, full time, how, how easily that could increase quickly. Absolutely. So why don't you give those who aren't familiar a couple of startup costs? Granted, they're one-time mm -hmm. costs or very seldom costs, but you know, let's give people the uh, what they'll be coming out of pocket with before they're even looking to buy property. Yeah. Um, so I didn't spend too much. I think the main thing, um, the the one expense that I had um, that maybe I didn't expect to was I wanted to use the prop stream. Uh, software system mm -hmm. that you recommend that you know you don't necessarily need that but for me it saved me so much time that I wanted that so that was like $395. Oh um, you paid the yearly fee? Yeah I just got it for the year. Just oh wow that's smart I do it yeah. monthly and I pay I only pay 99 but then that's 1200 bucks for the whole year so I must be like you. <laughs> yeah I just want I just wanted to have it um, because it, it does it saves me so much time um some of the other costs i'm trying to think um yeah so the the text messaging that's how i started out so that was like 10 bucks or something like that yeah um not that expensive and i'm trying to think if there was any other expenses you know once i bought the property there were some things like um purchasing the deed templates so i would have that mm -hmm. um that's about and, 20 bucks or so for that template. Yeah, 20 bucks for that, you know. Um, and then I did, um, when I was getting into purchasing the property, the county that I'm working in, they did charge like a $30 fee to access some of their um, documents and things. So you could access mm -hmm. everything really easily online and download everything, which made it really, really easy to work with and quick. Nice. Um, so there were some things like that, which I all took into account. Um, but after all those costs, you know, I'm still profiting over two thousand dollars, so I took that into account with, with yeah, everything. Absolutely. Basically. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And um, like basically, now that you've done that, you don't have to pay a lot of those things ever again. So for the next property, they're ready to go. Right. Right. Like, um, like you said, people don't need to use that prop stream, or they can just start with like the monthly thing to try it out if they want. Um, so there's ways where you could probably have avoided some of the costs that um, that I incurred. It just for me, it was just easier to work with and faster. So that's the way I decided to go. Nice. So why don't you tell me, because I understand you've tried some other things online and you've actually had some success in other areas online, mm -hmm. uh, online business. What other areas have you done online to make money? And can you kind of compare and contrast from like what you've done to the land investing model? Yeah, um, one of the reasons I was really interested in land investing um, was how quick you could be turning 
these properties around flipping them essentially. Um, so I do have experience in uh, e-commerce and selling uh, my own products that I manufacture. So I do do that. Um, and I do like doing that business, it's profitable, um, but uh, you do get a lot of your money tied up in inventory for longer periods of time. So instead of, you know, getting your money back in 30 days or, you know, um, you might be waiting six months, right, mm. to make it, to get that money back um, for a whole turn of inventory, you know, things like that. So um, to me, it's, it's really exciting and um, something that I want to grow and work with my husband on eventually. So um, I really like that. <laughs> and nice. um, I do like working with people. So I, get, I did get to talk to um, a lot of people, some people, you know, like it's funny with the texting you said some people are just jerks or whatever, but it's, it's almost entertaining. You know? <laughs> like, and then some people are so nice, um, you know, and really appreciate you and working with you and they're helping, you're helping them out, like take care of a problem or helping them get property really affordably that they're going to build a home on or something. So, you know, it's really, that stuff's kind of nice too, because you just feel like, you know, it's nice working with people sometimes too. That you have a connection with or you feel like you're helping them absolutely i've talked to so many different people from so many different walks of life it actually helps me get a little bit of perspective like i can easily be in my own bubble i live in california and certain th things are different in california than they are in other parts of the country and if i'm not careful i can just think that's how the whole world is or when somebody has a different viewpoint or they just do like just have a different lifestyle that i can like kind of just you know think like hey what are they doing but talking to people understanding their 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 joys and their pains and, and things like that, even from these brief two, three, five minute phone conversations. And let's be honest, the older folks, they love to talk. So they'll, they'll <laughs> talk for you for 20 minutes if they, if, you know, if you let them. Um, but it really does brighten my day to just understand people and have people understand me. And as you said, help them out, either selling a property they don't want or helping somebody buy property that they couldn't do otherwise. They won't, they weren't getting a loan from the bank. They didn't have the, the you know, a big sum of money just kind of burning a hole in their pocket so helping them out um and in this way is has been very fulfilling for me i'm glad to hear that it's been fulfilling mm -hmm. for you as well yeah sure okay so compared to besides the the time that it takes to kind of get your money back um from e-commerce e versus land investing is there any other differences or that's more or less it um yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a ton, like too much difference. I mean, definitely in e-commerce and working on things that are maybe lower, you know, lower cost, um, but you're doing bigger volume, right? So um, this is more, you know, you're just, you're doing some, you know, medium, small, larger size deals, um, but you're turning them more quickly. And um, I think it's, it's with anything once you get a system going right it's it's going to be going even faster right Absolutely. so i can see definitely see the potential with that nice. um just like with my e-commerce you know once you learn it and you know the system um you can you can you learn what not to do and what to do and you can do it a lot quicker right so um that was the thing and then i think also um just like after i sold that property i i still had people calling me and contact me to buy it. So I know that there is, you know, I know there's a lot of interest out there and that um, there is a need, right? There's a market for it, for sure. Absolutely. It's not just, um, it wasn't, I don't believe that it's just a one-off type of thing. <laughs> and you yeah. already know that, you already know that. Yeah, absolutely, no, that's awesome. I, I'm glad that you're understanding and you're feeling it and it didn't eat up a lot of your time. So you can still do your mm -hmm. other business or you can still have your nine to five or you can still be with your family and do this and still make big returns on it and then be able to take that money and use it for bills or reinvest in the business or whatever you need it for. Cause this yeah, is something that exactly. you can I mean, stop would, now if you wanted to, right? <laughs> I told, um, actually, I, I, I didn't really tell anyone that I was doing this to be honest. So no, none of, no one in my family knew I was doing it. And, um, you know, once I made the sale, I told my sister and she's like, what when did you do that <laughs> she's like when did you have time to do it? she was like so surprised you know and I was like oh I just you know I just do it online just texting some people and stuff and yeah I have a check coming in the mail today 
That's pretty fun. Oh man, I'm, I'm yeah. pretty sure she's probably thinking you're selling drugs. Good for you. <laughs> no, she's a, she's just like I'm just gonna give you money, Terry, and you just do whatever with it, and uh, you do you do what you do, and then I'll have checks coming in too. <laughs> nice, very nice. Now you set up your whole little enterprise. I love it. Yeah. Okay, a couple more questions before we wrap this up. Um, could you talk about any of the emotions you felt as you were going through the process? I know in the beginning learning anything new is a little frustrating or it can be depending on what you're learning um or it could be very fun or or whatever like why don't you tell me a little bit how you felt out you're learning it you first want to start contacting people and mm -hmm. all of those things yeah i mean i think the the biggest thing just with starting was um being a little nervous of like not knowing what to say uh, to people or thinking you're going to say the wrong thing or they're going to like think I'm don't know what I'm doing like why would they work you know purchase something from me or sell something to me mm -hmm. um so I think part of that first experience was just because you do get some people like what no I'm not going to sell you my property for that low amount right. you know um so it was just a little getting used to it and getting comfortable with it and getting over being nervous of sounding dumb <laughs> um but once you realize this like these are just people and it really doesn't matter if you sound dumb to them or not you know so there's always more people to contact and um you know and then once I purchased the property it was just okay I gotta go 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 <laughs> get this thing sold you know so there's a little a little bit of stress there like oh is this really gonna work um but then, yeah, then it was just people were contacting me with, like you said, very little effort put in. Um, and uh, yeah, just adjusting things, you know, if it's not, if it, if it wasn't working for a week, then, you know, knowing that I had people to reach out to, to help, you know, kind of guide me, <laughs> that gave me a lot more uh, confidence to keep at it and not get spooked, you know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, and then of course making the sale that felt really good. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's so. the best part. That's the best mm -hmm. part. That's awesome. Yeah. No, I, I I see the whole the whole gamut of emotions, right? You went from the highs to the lows to like, is this going to work? And like, oh shit, it does work. Oh my god, I got to do it again. <laughs> um, yeah. But the fact that you're able to push through low points, because I know a lot of people, no matter what they choose as a side hustle or a business, they don't realize that not everything is going to be easy. And granted. In this business, things are pretty simple, but you still have to do it. You got to put in the work, and you did that, and you were rewarded handsomely for it in uh, a relatively short amount of time. Um, and I, I imagine if you, you know, for more properties in that same area, that window is going to be a lot shorter. Um, I've noticed that, like, you now instead of taking forty-five days, which is still very quickly, now you're 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 buying and selling in, in two weeks, three weeks. Right. So, yeah half the time, you know, because you already have a built in pool of buyers ready to go. And you understand the area. So you understand, you know, you know what you can negotiate for and what you can still mm -hmm. play with. So yeah, no, this, for this, sure. this is wonderful. This is very wonderful. Uh, last question. What was it like to work, you know, with me in the escape velocity strategy? Um, uh, thanks. You actually did help. You actually helped me refine certain things. I, I know that can be better. But <laughs> what was your experience like going through this whole process of, of the of like the coaching, the mentoring and, and yeah, coaching. no, I, I think this was key. Um, you Victor have helped me out tremendously with this. So thank you so much. <laughs> um, I think I just, I had a lot of questions. Um, and sometimes, you know, it was just, I, I needed some response in the moment. Cause I was, I was like, Oh, I've never done it. This. <laughs> and I need an answer for this person. Right. So, um, really thank you for being so responsive. Um, but yeah, the training sessions are very easy to follow. Um, I have all the recordings. So if I ever need to go back to anything, I have those assets. Um, and, you know, some of the documents and templates that you shared with me were super helpful um, and just made the whole process really easy, uh, which, it, you know, attests to how quickly I was able to, to get through the whole process the first time, I think. Um, and I think sometimes, too, it's just, just some stuff comes up that uh, you know, isn't sort of standard. It's sort of like a one-off or something strange that happens. So it was nice having a mentor, you know, available to help me 
kind of guide me or, or point me in the right direction to how to handle those situations being so new to it. Uh, I, I mean, you made it so easy to just share my information that it was, it was a pleasure for me. So I really appreciate you being responsive and just getting after it. I appreciate you um, just for doing everything that you've done um, and trusting in me to lead you through this journey. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be forever grateful for you for that. Um, with that, I think that's all the questions I had. So for anybody that's watching this interview, whether you're watching it now or 20 years in the future, um, land isn't going anywhere. It's real estate. You know, there's different types of real estate. I focus on this because it's easy. It's low cost. It's low, he low headache, low effort. So if you are interested in learning these skills as well, and these are skills, by the way, that you can apply to other forms of real estate, uh, you know what to do. You know, contact me, I can get you all set up. Other than that, I really appreciate your time, Terry. Um, thank you, and I'm looking forward to see what comes next, because now you have a nice little, you know, little chunk of change, and you know, you, you, know, you can buy more property, you can you know, use it for other things, who knows, but I'm very, uh, very much looking forward to your future success. I'm um, so yep. happy that you got what you got. <laughs> and uh, I know this is just the beginning. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Vector. All right. No problem. Well, that's it for this. And uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Bye, guys.